Hey, welcome back to Die Cash Cards. So today we're gonna do the super spotlight on this Lancer Evolution, or better known in real life as the Mitsubishi Evo 10. Uh, so I've talked about this cast before. Not a huge fan of it just because of the proportions just aren't there. I mean, Hot Wheels obviously has never really been true 164 scale. However, this one is just a lot larger and it's very noticeable when you compare it to other cars. Um, this super treasure on here it's in the spectra flame black which looks pretty gray this one might even be a little bit more uh, lighter on the paint side because it looks really gray um, this one you know popularity wise it's i would say it's a little lower on the uh, jdm jdm totem pole um, current market price right now is going for about the 35 to 40 dollar mark depending on condition you know, with Evos, it's kind of you love it or you hate it. This one in particular, I think the Rail Riders really throw people off because it's got the really meaty tires on it. And then it's the six spokes prior to us getting the uh, the current six spoke T37 replicas, right? So um, I think that's kind of why a lot of people are turned off on it. But I mean, if we were to really take a look at this car, I mean, detail wise, it's it's pretty nice. Um, I do like the the little ghost graphics kind of right on the fender there, you know, and then it's all um, You know, the graphics are kind of cent Centralized around maximum attack where I kind of take it as like a circuit Race livery right which is spot-on because the Evo is definitely an awesome car from a, a Autocross standpoint I, I just remember going to a number of uh, track events and the Evos were always top five finishers right so um you know i think hot wheels did a good job just picking uh a good livery for the car so you might be wondering why i have this mitsubishi evo 10 surrounded by all these subarus so again from my other videos you kind of know that i am a subaru fan die hard actually um you know and if you think about the car scene in the early 2000s that's essentially when honda got out of the game you know a lot of tuners kind of moved away from hondas because you know the the new k series had come in and not a lot of people knew too much about it you know hindsight looking at everything the k20 was a pretty awesome motor to work on right but you know we were moving away from the b series and then you know towards the end of the 90s that's when you lost all of those jdm legends right we you know we lost the supra we lost the you know obviously overseas in japan we lost the skyline the 3000 gt 300 zx's they all started to disappear and do you know what car came on the scene it was the evo evolution 8 i remember the first time they brought it to the us that was such a big deal and then the sti those both both of those cars came around the early 2000s right and you know that's when i actually started driving and i mean it was it was a no-brainer what car i was gonna buy right and i actually purchased a 2004 subaru wrx that was my first car so this is why i'm very partial to subarus and uh, wrx's stis um, but i just recall in the, in the 2000s i mean the biggest rivalry that everyone could talk about is the evo and the STI Subaru versus Mitsubishi right and I just find it interesting that Hot Wheels to this point right has produced a super treasure hunt for Mitsubishi but we have yet to see one for Subaru right I just think that's a little unfair I mean I guess you could say that Hot Wheels has provided us with a lot of Subaru castings a lot more variety than we've seen from Mitsubishi right so you know, when I think about Mitsubishi, I see the Evo, you know, obviously we, now we have the Evo 6, we have the 3000 GT, you know, those are more recent. Um, we had a Toon Pajaro, if you guys remember that. And I think that's it, unless I'm blanking on any other Mitsubishi cast, but that's pretty much all we got. From a Subaru side of things, I mean, we've always had the 0405 WRX STI in rally format. We've always had this Brat. It's been around for quite a bit, a little bit of time there. Uh, and then we have the 22B, which is, you know, within the last two, three years. Uh, and then the Bug Eye WRX STI as well, too. Um, so we've had a lot more variety when it comes to Subaru. But 
we've just never gotten a super treasure hunt and the closest thing we've received is this treasure hunt here so not a super but just a regular treasure hunt we've gotten the sti hatchback and it is nice and i'm happy that we have something right subaru is given a little bit of spotlight and i've just from looking at t hunted and you know some of the spoilers coming through 2022 we are going to get a 22b uh that's all uh decked out in liveries and um is going to be a treasure hunt as well too so that's two treasure hunts that uh, Hot Wheels has given Subaru, but no treasure hunt. And we have a lot of really good casts. You know, one that I'm missing here, and now that I'm thinking about it too, is we, I don't have, uh, Subaru does have the BRZ with the Pandem wide body kit, right? So that's another car, you know, it's really neat. I know up to this point, I guess it's it's been in both premium as well as premium mainline, but I just feel like there's, a lot of good cast represented by Subaru and I would be perfectly happy with any one of them being represented as a super treasure hunt so I'm not sure where we are from a 2022 standpoint if it's possible but maybe 2023 maybe that's when we'll get a super treasure hunt I mean I really liked all the momentum with the 22b ever since it's been released in 2020 um, you know we've seen multiple recolors you know, we've seen it in Zamac, you know, now we're going to get a treasure hunt. So could it be the, you know, likely next step to be a super treasure hunt? Possibly, but we'll see. So again, kind of hijacked. I know this, this super spotlight's really supposed to be on this Mitsubishi Evo, but I'm using it as a platform to just kind of talk my mind a little bit about Subaru and just a little bit of frustration as a collector right just wanted to see subaru represented as a, a super treasure hunt given that mitsubishi subaru's main rival has a super treasure hunt and has had one since 2014. so just a quick video for you guys let me know what your thoughts are let me know if there's any other brand whether it's jdm or euro that you feel like just hasn't been represented yet as a super treasure hunt um, you know, Subaru for me is one that I've been keeping an eye on and man, I can't wait. Um, so Subaru please, or Hot Wheels, please give us a super treasure hunt of, you know, my preference would be the 22B, um, you know, also the 04 WRX, right? So, I mean, either one of those would be awesome, but I'll take any one. I mean, even the Subaru Brat, I would take this as a super treasure hunt any day. So that's all I got. Like, subscribe, leave a comment of what you think deserves to have a super treasure hunt format and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.